In this video, we're going to continue our discussion about circles. And for homework tonight, you guys will be doing um, problems 41, 42, 43, and 44. And they all have to do with um, Ferris wheels or sarsen circles. And you probably know a sarsen circle. You may not know what it means right now, but a sarsen circle, like a good example, would be Stonehenge, where they brought in these massive stones and they um, erected them in a circular fashion. All right, so all of your problems tonight will have to do with Ferris wheels or sarsen circles, and they will all be word problems, but there's only four. So I'm gonna do two types of problems. Um, I'm gonna do the first one has to do with Ferris wheels that, um, that sit above the ground. So they have to build an elevated platform to have passengers enter them. And then the second one, I'm gonna look at um, a, a Ferris wheel that they actually dug out underground. And this example can also be used for sarsen circles. So just as a reminder, our equation for the um, standard form of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center is h comma k and the radius is r. So let's say we're talking about a Ferris wheel. Here's a nice nice little um, picture of a Ferris wheel. And you're given that from the very top of the Ferris wheel all the way down to the ground is 143 meters. And you're given from the very top of the Ferris wheel to the very bottom of the Ferris wheel is 133 meters. So I drew a set of axes here for the most part. Our axes represent, our x-axis represents the ground and our y-axis goes through the center of the circle, right? Center of the Ferris wheel. And these little guys right here, these are the struts that they add to keep the Ferris wheel in place. You guys have seen those before, I'm sure. All right. So, um, how can we find the radius? The radius of this Ferris wheel? Well, we have the diameter. This right here is the diameter of the Ferris wheel. From the top to the bottom of this circle, or this Ferris wheel, is a distance of 133 meters. So my radius is gonna be half of that, right? We only want part of that distance. We want the distance from here to here, this blue part. So what is that going to be? That's going to be 66.5 meters. Okay, so our radius is 66.5 meters. So now let's answer another question. How close is, how close is the Ferris wheel to the ground? Well, that's an easy one to say because we're really in this um, question we're looking for this distance right here well we have the total distance from the top to the ground and we have the distance from the top of the ferris wheel to the bottom of the ferris wheel so that's a nice simple subtraction the total distance minus part of the distance is the missing distance right that is our distance to the ground so it is 10 meters from the ground. So my next question is, how high is the center of the Ferris wheel? Center of the Ferris wheel. How far is it from the ground? Well, that's not too hard of a question to answer because we're looking at from the ground, um, the center sits right here. The center is in two parts. It is the radius of my Ferris wheel plus the distance from the ground. So I know my radius of my Ferris wheel is 66.5 meters. I know the distance from the ground is 10 meters, 
So it is a distance, my read on my center is a distance of 76.5 meters from the ground. So what are the coordinates of the center? The center. So how could I find the coordinates of the center? Well, I need to know what the coordinates of this mark is. If this right here is my origin, I have gone no distance left or right from the origin. I've only gone a distance up. And that distance is the distance from the center to the ground that I just calculated right here in this question, 76.5. So the coordinates of my center or 0 comma 76.5, which is really nice because I've told you that my center is h comma k. So knowing h, knowing k, and knowing our radius right here at the top, we can create the equation of our Ferris wheel. So let's go ahead and write that equation. We're just going to plug h, k, and r into our um, equation, our standard equation. So we have x minus h, which is 0 squared, plus y minus k, k is 76.5 squared, and my radius is 66.5 squared. So that is how I would like you to create the equation of your Ferris wheel. Um, I am going to simplify it a little bit because I see that I have an x minus 0 squared, but I don't need you to actually write, like square everything and write it in standard equation form. I would like it written in standard circle form. Okay, so this example that I did is how you should work problems 41 and 42. Both of them have Ferris wheels that actually stand off the ground. The bottom of the, the circle of the Ferris wheel is off the ground. So how do you do problems 43 and 44? Well, one of them has to do with a Ferris wheel that people entered directly on ground, at ground level. Okay, so people are actually coming into this Ferris wheel, right? They're walking up to this Ferris wheel and entering at ground level. So that tells me they probably have a walkway that they've dug underneath here so that people can walk up and get in at ground level. All right. Um, the other problem, which is number 44, is the Sarsen Circle. Since the Sarsen Circle is flat on the ground, there is no entrance to a Ferris wheel or anything, so it's just represented by a circle. So the x-axis here, again, for my Ferris wheel is going to represent the ground. For the Sarsen Circle, it's just going to represent um, just a tangent line to the circle. My y-axis, again, is going to go through the circle. So my diameter, they, they tell me the diameter of this Ferris wheel or the Sarsen circle is 53 meters. So how do I find the radius? The radius is half the diameter. So the radius is going to be 53 over 2, which is 26 and a half meters. So for the Sarsen circle, so let's pretend this is a Sarsen circle and not a Ferris wheel, they ask you to compute the circumference around the Sarsen circle. So I wrote over here the formula for circumference. So the circumference is going to equal pi d, so I have d already, right? The diameter, I have d, so it's going to be 53 times pi meters, okay? So I have my radius and I have my circumference. So for the um, Ferris wheel that uh, people enter at ground level. Okay, so it's asking you how far above the ground is this Ferris wheel? Well, if people are entering at ground level, it is not above the ground at all. It basically sits on the ground. They just dug the ground out a little bit. So it is at zero feet, or meters in this case, zero 
meters above the ground. There is no distance from the bottom of the Ferris wheel to the ground, none at all. Um, so the next question would be, uh, let's see, um, how high is the center of the wheel from the ground? Well, that's easy because the center of the wheel from the ground is just the radius. Okay, so the height of the center would just be 26.5 meters. For the Sarsen circle, they're going to ask how many, um, how far apart should each of the stones be placed? Well, it says that um, since there were originally 30 Sarsen stones located in the uh, circumference, how far apart would the centers of the stones have been? So for question C for a Sarsen circle, you're just going to take the circumference and divide it by 30. So 53 pi divided by 30. So they would be spaced 53 pi divided by 30 meters apart, their centers would be. Okay, so let's find the, the location of the center of the circle. So the center of the circle, if this is my origin right here, my center is not being moved left or right from the origin, so its value in the x direction is zero. But it is above the origin, the length of the radius, and the radius is 26.5 meters. So that's the coordinate of my center. Okay. So how do I find the equation of the actual circle? Well, I'm going to plug my h and k value. Remember, this is h and this is k because that's the center. I'm going to plug that those values into my equation, x minus h squared, h is 0, plus y minus k, k is 26.5 squared, equals my radius squared, which is, whoops, 26.5 meters squared. I'm going to simplify this because x minus 0 is just x squared. All right, and now I have the equation of my circle, right? My Ferris wheel, if you want to call it a Ferris wheel, or my Sarsen circle, okay? So remember, when, when we're calculating average distance, we take our total distance around the circle, divide it by the 30 stones we have there. Um, if it has more or less stones, we divide it by the number of stones, okay? Um, my radius, if my Ferris wheel, people are entering my Ferris wheel from ground level, that means the circle is zero meters above ground level, okay? So all of those are wordings that you should pay attention to while you're doing these problems. And that is it. This example um, is good for 53 and, I mean 43 and 44.